it's 10 to 8 in the morning and it's already it's about 200 degrees or something isn't it it's roasting today is going to be about conquering a fear of mine i've never done it and i've always wanted to do it and i'm with jack and kingsey um two very experienced sort of mountain i'll say experts because i know nothing compared to these guys and uh, today we're, uh, we're climbing Cribgok, which is um, a knife ridge in the uh, Snowdon Horseshoe in Snowdonia. So anybody from uh, the UK or Wales will know what I'm talking about, but it's absolutely petrifying just the idea of it. So I'm really looking forward to it. Looking forward to saying I've done it. Looking forward to saying I've finished it <laughs> and survived it. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, basically it's about 960 meters, I think, knife ridge. Uh, leading up to Snowdonia, Snow Mount Snowdon, uh, it's part of the Snowdon Horseshoe. So, get some uh, spectacular views. It's not really going to be so much a video about landscape photography today, I don't suppose, but more about can capturing a fear. But, bought the camera, bought the drone, hopefully, get some good pictures as well. So, I'll see you when we stop near the, to near the top. So yeah, it's an absolutely belter of a day. Um, these guys have got quite a lot of experience with uh, mountain climbing and safety and all that sort of thing. Uh, Kings, you've been doing it for what, 40 years, you say? And he's been on the mountain yeah. 40 years, so I'm, I'm in good hands. So I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really nervous about this whole thing. Uh, any of you guys who have ever been to Snowdon or live in the UK have probably heard of uh, Crib Gox and know exactly how dangerous it can be, but spectacular at the same time. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, but yeah, at the same time, absolutely crap of myself. Uh, but it's gonna be good fun, it's an amazing view. We've got a bit of a, a cloud inversion going on as well. I did stop to take a photograph. Um, if you can see, it's probably a bit bright. Um, I did stop taking a photograph. Not really much of a in the way of a photograph there, but still very beautiful. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we've been climbing since about seven this morning. Started climbing. I'm twenty to eight to us. Oh, was it oh, half seven? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go seven. half seven then. Yeah, yeah we've been climbing since about half seven this morning. So it's uh, eighteen degrees now. It's, there's a nice breeze picked up though, so it's a lot better. But I've, I don't know if you probably see what suntan lotion all over me because I'm. Yeah, with this breeze and this heat on these mountains, wind burn and sunburn, it's going to be a hot one. So yeah, looking forward to getting up there. I'll see you at the top. And if it's not too blowy as well, we'll be able to get the drone over there and uh, it'll show you exactly how high and stupid this climb is. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. So this is the start of Crib Gok. This is the uh, the knife edge ridge line which follows all the way around um, around the top there to uh, Snowdon and it's a hell of a climb coming up here um, and as you can see it's, it's a sheer drop both sides it's absolutely ridiculous it's um, it's stunning it, it is something I, I want to say if people are watching this thinking I'm gonna I, I want to come to Crib Gok, please make sure you're wearing the correct footwear we're seeing so many people come up here in trainers and it really don't look like they're with experienced people it is a place you really do need to take seriously so uh, yeah it is uh, do a lot of research make sure you, you know what you're doing but come on obviously come up it's brilliant We've, I'm really enjoying the climb it's a hell of a scramble coming up here but great fun so we're going to wander uh, along the ridge I think it's a 500 meter ridge uh, right round to um, just before Snowdon we're not oh, getting eaten alive by midges here it's terrible uh, we're not actually going to go up Snowdon we're just going to walk around and come down the Watkin path or something like that uh, hopefully get some photographs there's a look still got that low level cloud over here so you can see that um, so I've managed to get a little bit of a photograph there and again just picking up the cloud on that mountain over there as well so I'll uh, yeah hopefully them pictures are quite nice but it's difficult because it's it's obviously a beautiful place but it's it's kind of difficult I haven't, I've only bought my uh, 
X-Pro2 with the 16-55 uh, to 55 lens on it just to keep the weight down of the bag because obviously I'll be hanging on the edge of a mountain in a minute so don't want too much weight in the bag but yeah it'd be really good so hopefully it gets nice pictures as well can you see the flies in this it's unbelievable <laughs> I'm getting eaten And that's that way. We've got about a metre, a few feet, and then it's sheer drop, sheer drop, and then there's the ridge you've got to follow. We've made it to the top, or the highest point, I think, of Quibgot Ridge. How you feeling? Good, eh? Yeah, good one. <laughs> it's, uh, it was absolutely stunning. I was just about to get the camera out and take a photograph of that view down behind me. And this epic cloud has just swept in. There's a good picture there, actually, that guy with the, with the cloud there. I want to grab that quickly. But otherwise, over here, you can't see a dicky bird. It's, this cloud is it's moving really fast, so fingers crossed we will be able to see again in a minute. But this is the way we're going. Continuing along the ridge down there, and it's absolutely fantastic. The, the flies are everywhere, but it's, oh, I'm having a great time. It is very, uh, very dangerous, very scary. So do, if you do come, as I say, do take it seriously. Wear the right boots. But if you've got, the, if you're with the right people and you've got the right boots on, you'll really enjoy it. I'm, I'm having a great time. It's really good, amazing view. Look at this, absolutely stunning, fantastic. Oh, better go to get an image to death. <laughs> That is it, I conquered Quib Gok. I am more than a bit chuffed. I've got to be honest, I was so, so nervous about A, the climb up, because it's extremely steep. Um, I've got strong walking boots on, if you can see them. Um, very, very uh, rigid sole, so I, I knew that was going to be important coming up, because it is very, very steep. Um, so yeah, I was a bit worried about that. But then the ridge itself, knife, ridge, knife edge, the whole way along, 500 metres. I was worried about it, <laughs> uh, more than a little worried about it. I put it off a few, about twice. Um, so no, but I'm, I'm with good company today. I knew the guys are experts in the field, so I know that if I'm, you know, it's a good idea to do something like this with people that you can trust and they they'll help you out if you get stuck. So really, really, really awesome experience. I really enjoyed it. It's 500 meters long. That flew. I was a bit gutted when it ended, to be honest. I was really enjoying the the sort of dangerous aspect of it. As well, as far as photography goes, obviously you can appreciate two hands, two feet, you've got to keep your, your grip. It's impossible really to A, vlog it and B, take photographs. I um, think I got some snaps, uh, hopefully anyway. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was really, really good. So we're gonna, the guys are over there just having a five minute break and then we're gonna head back down because they're here for three, three more days doing uh, mountaineering, taking a couple of groups mountaineering in Snowdonia. So um, yeah, I'll give the details in the, in the comments. So if, you, uh, if you're interested in, uh, in, in some mountain, mountaineering, I'll, uh, I'll uh, give you their details. Um, but no, I'm gonna, we're gonna carry on along the, along, the tra along the pack. We need to get down as quickly as possible so they can get to their army camp. Um, and I've got to get back to South Wales. So uh, if I do have any more opportunities to take some photographs and properly film it and talk you through it, uh, then I'll, uh, I'll uh, 
I'll film again then, but until then, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, sorry it was a bit unorthodox, but yeah, definitely do crib rock, and if you do do it, please take it seriously. Uh, we did see a lot of people with trainers on. It's uh, it's a bit too irresponsible, it's too dangerous, so please wear the right, right clothing, and if preferable, come with somebody who's experienced, knows the route, and uh, yeah, can, uh, can look after you, because it's a mental game. You can get halfway and just mentally lock up, so you don't know what you're gonna face, so please uh, take it seriously, but do enjoy. Thanks for watching.